It is half off Monday. We're gonna do some savers, but look at this beautiful, amazing bus real quick. It is denim blue and it's got the Levi sticker on it. Tell me we don't need this. It's even got texture on it. I want it. Yeah, they like they they did a texture on it, so it legit looks like jeans. And look at the big Levi sticker. I love it. Actually, the funny part is that van, that bus was for sale on Craigslist offer up facebook for a while we almost we kind of considered buying it but i think whoever bought it was smarter than we were because I, I would not have thought of that <laughs> you guys stick around we've got some half off monday coming right at you all right let's see what we got in the glass baking section hmm There's a bunch of these like enamel mixing bowls here Mm. That's kind of cute. Dulcy. Very cute. Probably not though. I've sold a couple enamel bowls, but they're usually a little more like antique looking rather than just like the mixing bowls. So I'm probably going to pass on those. Some cute little poof pops here too. I can't remember exactly how long it's been, but the last half off Monday that we were here, there was a bunch of manga and Shonen Jump and stuff. Did not last, did it? It got gobbled up. Actually, I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything like that. Doesn't really look like it. I think we're good. Video games are right here though. There's some comic books. Oh, there's a lot of games. Holy crap. All right, well. Give me a second. <laughs> Look at all that. PC, Mahjong. It's a lot of nonsense. How much are all of them? About 250 a piece. Sneak King. It's a whole bunch of stuff I have, really. Hmm. The shelf is full, though. Spotted a DIY. It's real cute. <laughs> Love it. Brett, class of 14. Good job, Brett. You did good. Uh, a wired Xbox controller. Ooh, baby. White PS3 controller. PlayStation 1 controller. Hmm. Very nice. Salt and pepper game over here is going strong. Taz looking sweet, but a single man. Look at these hugging cows. So cute. These little turkeys are nice too. Well, turkey and hen? Eh. He's broken though. She's sad. So she. Boo. Bag toy wise, there's a bunch of dolls for him to look through. Uh, I'm not saying anything. I always come straight here as, qu as quick as I can and look for trading card stuff, but uh, not really any today. This is good news and bad news. Good news, Tupperware set. It's got lots of them in there. Bad news, the top one is missing its lid. I don't have any brown lids at home, which is unfortunate. The whole set's here. The worst part is, I just dropped it on the floor. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Where'd it go? There's one. Well, this ties into what I was just talking about. I bet the other lid's here. It's just somewhere. That lid literally just disappeared. Oh my gosh. I'll look for it walking around the store continue to look around and this is just sitting here it's a little bit roughed up but i think i'm still gonna get it because i can uh can probably fix today i am on a mission i really need to find some white levi's or any cheap white jeans that i can work with to make into color block jeans because I get a lot of requests for white mixed with other colors and I cannot find white jeans. 
So I did find a pair of white Levi's. They aren't super high rise though, so I'm on the fence about getting them because I mean, the thing that people really like about my jeans I make is that they're high rise. So I'm very tempted to still get them because at least I can use the other half of it. But I don't know, I need a measuring tape. I shouldn't, I should have brought one. I know better than this. <sighs> Always bring a measuring tape to the thrift store with you. If nothing else, just to help you find the right size. Because if you measure your jeans and you know your measurements, you should be able to find something that fits without having to try them on. This has been a pro tip with Hannah. Now this is a rarity for me. I never find Levi's here for less than like $12. What? This store is very, very notorious for marking up all of their men's jeans. Do you think good? Mm, not really. A pair of jeans? A pair of white jeans, so that's good. White PS3 controller. Oh no, the bus is leaving. Well, $11.30 for two PS3 controllers and two pairs of jeans is all right. Killed it. Also, I love your outfit. Thanks. Dark. <laughs> Darkness. No parents. <laughs> all right, we are at Savers number two. Probably the better Savers. I would agree. The Savers we usually leave with the most. There is a slight line outside, though. It's not as bad as it has been. Just about halfway down the building. So we're gonna be here a minute. Time to wait. I like checking the jeans section at the Savers first because it's just, you usually find something. There's like usually a good amount of vintage stuff here, which is great. 549, that's a pretty good pickup. We'll go ahead and grab that. These are kind of interesting. Some Ralph Lauren jeans. It's not something I sell, but I just like colorful things. We'll see if there's anything else. I used to really like savers hanging their jeans sideways like this, but now I've gotten so used to Goodwill hanging them straight up and down that like this is hard for me to look at now. <sighs> I gotta just gotta dig more, which I guess is fine. I'm used to digging for things. Eddie Bauer, dead stock, probably now though. Oh baby, check this out. Half of a dollar seventy-nine, we'll take. It's such a sad thing, but it happens so often. The green Pyrex ball. Oh, this one was oh, that's even worse. This was the turquoise one. Turquoise ones are kind of sought after. There's a, a rare print called the Amish butter print. It's got a turquoise kind of base to it, so people really love anything turquoise to go with that set. But this monstrosity is kind of fun. It's super heavy though. I'm gonna put that down, I'm gonna drop it. It's safe, don't worry. Um, not much shaking. Oh well. Last couple of half off days, the toy wall here has killed it. There's been some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, some dolls, a lot of good stuff. So it'd be really nice if it came through again. I mean, listen, I'm not mad. Don't know what it is about the dish sections today. I'm just not finding much. Pepsi cups are kind of all right, but not great. Some Harley Davidson frosted mugs are kind of cool, but they're a little expensive. Hmm. Doing well in jeans today, at least, but dishes not so much. Aw, hoot. Could, I, could you tell me how much the Wii U has on it? Just said, so, okay. Can I see this DVD box set? Yeah. This is a bunch of stores. Thank you. I just went through quite a bit of a whirlwind, right? Because I walked through the store. I'm looking at the Shonen Jump and I flipped through it. And here's some pages of Hikaru no Go, which is a great anime. I've never read any manga of it, but I've watched the anime series. Uh, and I was just thinking, man, it'd be great to rewatch it. The DVD box set's up there. I was just looking at it. It's missing more than half of its disc. Why does this exist? Just why?
Why are there two of them? Just why? I always love checking the boots in the Savers. They usually have a good selection. The rest of the shoes, not so much, but the boots are usually pretty good. And I found something noteworthy. They're a little expensive, but the payoff will be really high. So, 10 bucks. That's not too bad. I'll get those. We don't usually on Mondays mess with any of our antique malls, but we're probably gonna have to now, at least for this one, because we're up here. Uh, this one, this antique mall that we resell stuff in is like right next to that Savers we just left. I mean, two miles away, three miles away. So on Mondays, we'll probably have to check it out. And heck, I think we have to go to another antique mall today to pick up a check. So it's gonna be an antique mall kind of day as well. The importance of stopping here on Monday is just simply that over the weekend, the booths usually get disheveled. So I'm just here to make sure there's nothing on the floor. You know, it's not too bad. Could be worse. I'm pretty sure that's not ours. I don't recognize him. Yeah, that is not ours. <laughs> uh, VCR on the floor. Hot Wheels on the floor. Someone's at least been digging through the VHS. And as you can see, there was a CRT here. And it's sold, so that's good. And of course, these just get wrecked, but what are you gonna do? Haven't sold a lot of pony stuff yet, that's all right. I think we sold one over the weekend. Uh, that's not ours either. Lots of stuff that's not ours. Yeah, a whole lot of toys got left here that aren't ours. He's ours though, isn't he? Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's kind of tough to tell. All right, I think we're good. Looks good. You gonna take all that back up front? Yeah. That's funny. People are just like, we'll just put these in the other toy booth. First of all, that Pokemon binder is awesome. Second of all, I've never seen just an ET finger. That's just an ET finger. Odd. Antique mall number two. We're at our other antique mall. And you've definitely sold some jeans, haven't you? I did. There was, I did, these two were on this rack and there was like four of them over here that were empty, so. You sold four or five things. I think so, I just will. today. That's pretty good. Uh, Cause our other booth, our CRT that we put in there has sold, which means that's a good lesson. I need to take some more little CRT, VCR combos that I have over there. Cause they sell for like a hundred bucks. It's pretty awesome. And your plan to do more clothes here is working out. It's working. You know what, honestly, putting this here, like we did last time, it just makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know, I feel cozy in here. Yeah, well it feels more <laughs> like it should. Yeah. Nothing's hidden, everything's out front. Also, I just sold my other afghan. I should probably put this online because I'm selling them immediately. These are selling way better on Depop than here. We've sold like better. one here and like seven on Depop. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're learning something new every day. So normally when Half Off Monday rolls around, we kind of alternate every other Half Off Monday to go or sometimes even more because they don't quite restock fast enough for it to be worth it for us to go every time. So we're just going to kind of quit with a Half Off Monday now and in today on a goodwill a good goodwill one of my favorite things in the whole world is seeing people's pets dressed up as humans in any form of style so i love this painting i just wish it was of pants or mochi could you imagine little pants with the glasses and the hat and his little ears sticking out <laughs> he's be so cute there's one check the bag toys section for you know Pratt's dolls, that's what I do. There's some ponies here. A big old bag of ponies. They're all really tiny and there's a lot of nonsense in there. So that's a no. Oh. Oh. She's newer. But she is a Bratz doll. Oh. I definitely like the older ones better, but you know, you get them when you find them, right? Storage crate, yes please. I actually need some more of these with the smaller holes, Beyblades and things like that. Uh, parts of Beyblades will fall out of the baskets with the bigger holes, so this is necessary. All right, we are checking out the glass baking section. 
not gonna lie to you, this Goodwill likes to mark up their stuff pretty high, so I'm not really looking. Can I get manager Gloria, please? Hello, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am not optimistic. This Goodwill usually marks up their prices quite a bit. So, let's see what they got. Cool, I like this giant measuring cup, but for six bucks, it's kind of a lot, so no. Some corningware, six bucks, no. Popcorn buckets, always a popcorn bucket set. That's funny, not gonna lie to you, every single stop that we've been at today, I have found one of those milk carton things. I don't know what its purpose is, but I've seen one everywhere. Um, utensils and things, this is cute. Three bucks, and I get that. It's, it's not any bigger than the one I have at my house though. I need a bigger one, That's why I need one, but. I like that one. Mine's just like black and boring. Sweet. The White Ranger Zord. Tiger Zord. Uh, been selling a lot of this stuff. And my antique mall. Haven't been finding enough of them. A Kodak Instant for six bucks. That might be a buy as well. I'm gonna hold on to it. Also. I eyeballed this Ikea shelf from across the store. Figured I'd come check it out. I'm trying really hard not to buy more black shelves because they're so much harder to paint. Uh, it doesn't have its shelves on it either, but uh, another basket. And we'll take that too. All right, last unplanned stop of the day, Zia Records. I don't know if I'm getting anything. Not really looking for anything, but we were driving by it. And I was like, eh, let's stop. Just never know what this store is gonna have. Five bucks, 12 bucks, 12, 13 bucks, okay. Whoa, this store has stepped up its pop game. There was not that many here last time I was here. I haven't been here in a little while, I guess. Interesting, just some manuals for sale. Cuphead, cool. Come here, look at this. I've never seen this before. Boom. Ooh. You want? That would be fun. That probably would be fun to play. What's he got inside him? Uh, nonsense, it looks like Snake eyes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Makes complete sense. <clears throat> oh, this would be cool. I always liked playing Operation. Honestly, I never got to play it when I was a kid because my aunt was the only one I knew that had an Operation board set and she never had batteries for them, so I never got to play it. Big rip. <laughs> she probably didn't want to hear all that racket. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> I walked by this like three times before I noticed this is just the video game section, but there's some Pokemon. Hold on, I see something special. Knockout collection. Interesting. A knockout deal. Three great Pokemon cards. Stomptastic tire. Okay. Two Pokemon trading card game booster packs. One gleaming Pokemon coin. Three specially chosen foil cards. I kind of really want to know what's in here, like what packs are in here. Didn't really find anything worth getting except for some loose Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I need to stop by the store more often though because when we first started this channel, I came here a lot and there was always something random and cheap. Like it wasn't this location, but one of these stores, I got my WaveBird, my GameCube controller with wireless WaveBird for like 12 bucks. I, I don't know why they do it sometimes, but sometimes they just put some cheap stuff out. All right, let's uh, wrap this bad boy up. Uh, so why don't you tell us what these are? Well, these are some vintage Lee jeans. Um, riders, Lee riders. But that was some good ones. The white ones are the best ones. I cannot get enough white jeans, I swear. Uh, why don't I talk about a couple things I got real quick. Any and all of this Power Ranger stuff that I get, uh, that I already have, I put the doubles in my antique malls. This stuff almost sells instantly when I put it in there. I'm just noticing. I paid a dollar forty-nine for it, but it has a two forty-nine sticker on the bottom. That's funny. That happened to me today too. Did it really? It did. <laughs> well, this is how much reselling happens at uh, at these stores. All right. Another thing I got that I'm very very excited about is another Yu-Gi-Oh Shonen Jump issue. I've just been collecting the ones that have Yu-Gi-Oh on the front of it. Uh, but I was excited to see this one has Hikaru Nogo in it, which is another anime on the list of things Hannah and I have been talking about watching together. Um, 
It's good. It's very good stuff. That's another one that had a has a Goodwill sticker underneath the Savers sticker. Oh really? <laughs> what? A, yep. A dollar ninety nine at Goodwill, and Savers was like, I got you beat. A dollar seventy nine. Like we'll drop the price a little bit. <laughs> Thrift shopping and the way we do is such a good, good, good lesson in economics how items resell and hold do and don't re, hold resale value because if you create a product like lee jeans creates their jeans and sells them msrp 40 dollars 50 i don't know how much a pair of levi's costs these days i don't know yeah, that's about right i can't tell you the last time i bought a new pair <laughs> um because i wear stretchy shorts <laughs> <laughs> you know there's a really good chance that most of those jeans sell again and again, mm -hmm. and a few more times. How many times do you think this is sold now? Like four times. That's crazy. Such a weird, such a weird thing, which is why I'm kind of one of the reasons I I tend to lean towards the smaller camp of people that don't mind leaving stickers on things. Cause you know, heck there's a sticker under that sticker. Is there? <laughs> there's, it's been everywhere. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let me see those, I guess. Two PS3 controllers, which is really timely. Um, I had a drawer full of these pre COVID. Yep. And then COVID kind of prompted us to start selling off a lot of our extra stuff because of the prices going up. And I ended up with just like one or two PS3 controllers. So I'll probably keep the white one for my collection. This one's a little busted uh, and it's plastic. So I'll probably rehouse this in another one I have that's ready to go. Cool. Uh, what else did you get? I got utensils and things. Very nice. <laughs> um, that's pretty. It's very 1970s. It's definitely vintage. Um, I want it for my kitchen, if, unless it doesn't fit the like function. Oh, that's for you. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like something you'd sell at your antique wall. But... So I'm, I might, because I don't know if it's gonna fit the decor. But... Do you know what this is? It is a very heavy camera. <laughs> Most people would look at it and go, "Oh, that's a Polaroid." Well, it's actually a Kodak. It's one of their instant cameras, and you can just tell, if you could hold this in your hand and be here now, you could be able to tell that they just didn't quite do this as well as Polaroid. No one else could quite figure out the instant camera game like Polaroid did. Um, and it's just, it's big, heavy, bulky. It's a chonker. <laughs> Look, it takes batteries, which Polaroid cameras never, not always, but most of the time didn't have a battery compartment. Uh, the batteries were in the cartridges. So this is just a big, stupid thing. but. We do sell this kind of thing pretty regularly at one of our antique malls. I put all the camera stuff like that I find and it sells furiously. And honestly, what did I pay for this? Six bucks is probably too much. Almost all, no matter what, they'll give you like $10 for a Polaroid at one of the buy sell trade stores we yeah. go to. So they'd probably look at this and go, oh, we'll give you six or seven bucks for it. But I, that's gonna be going to our antique mall. What else did you get? I got a bread stall today, but Beautiful. it's actually one of the new ones so i don't love the new ones that much i don't i don't know what's happening with this thingy but this one is just <laughs> it's attached i don't know how it goes back on oh well it's just one of those plastic tabbies yeah we'll, uh, we'll figure that out later so why don't you like it what's different about the old you've kind of explained it before they look a little bit different so this one um oh she's got knees yeah she's got like She's got knees, her feet, her ankles are like smaller than the shoe itself, and so it makes her feet look really, really, really big. Um, and her eyes are way bigger. Really? And, um, I mean, they... So, that these changes happened because of the lawsuit. Yeah, so this is a post-lawsuit brat stall, and they just... Ooh. They're different! I still you, got her, but... You couldn't, help your, <laughs> you couldn't help yourself, could you? I thought about it for a minute. Okay, well, came... let, let me share the next thing. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Pumpkin bread. Didn't expect that one, did you? <laughs> because it's full. Oh, man. Um, These are my find of the day. Oh, they're Doc Martens. They are, I saw you grab them. They are Doc Martens. Um, this style of Doc Martin is not one I'm super familiar with, but this style of shoe is very popular right now, too. So I think they'll do very well but I have to do some research to figure out how much they're actually worth. So, but Doc Martin, it's gonna at least sell for 50 bucks, if not this snaked Barbies. I at least thought, once. I but. thought that was something else that we got. It was just some Barbies. <laughs> you got real intrigued by some Barbies. Was this in the bag with that? Yes. Okay, I understand now. I tore her out. All right, well, I also got two of these baskets. Um, they're just how we're currently choosing to store things. They're so annoying because they're $4 new. 
I say this all the time. They show up at the thrift for five dollars, seven. They show up for all over the price, so I buy them when they're cheap. Um, but like, I have one of these full of Beyblade. I have one full of keychains. I have one full of you name it. Brad dolls. Yeah, and they stack up in the back of the van easy. Yeah, we need it. Actually, that other one might go one. <laughs> for the. You filled up a whole basket of Brad dolls, though. It happened. You have a problem. <laughs> I'm starting to put them on a shelf, though. So that it's is fine. true. I did notice when I walked. <laughs> I walked to the game room yesterday, and your Zeta shelf has two Brad dolls. <laughs> <laughs> I did a double take. I was like, is that a Zenith Brat doll? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Anyways. Make a Zenith Brat doll. That'd be sweet. That would be dope. Uh, that'd be a cool video, too. Well, you guys get out of here so we can go home and eat Cheerios and pumpkin crunch. Bread. We're trying something new. Trying to make that poop solid. <laughs> Isn't that what oats does? Is there fiber in oats? Did I go too far? <laughs> yeah, <a little> bit. <laughs> You're turning red. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm more interested in this banana bread, pumpkin bread. Pumpkin bread. <laughs> banana pumpkin bread. <laughs> banana bread's good though. It is very good. Especially when it's free. But banana bread! <laughs> <laughs> but banana bread at work, dude! Exactly. Um, so we post daily videos here on this channel. Make sure you come back tomorrow, hang out with us then. Uh, there will be no pumpkin bread tomorrow. I can assure or, you that. Or colon health talk. <laughs> <laughs> Not promising that, uh, but do come back tomorrow and hang out with us then. Until then, peace out.